Or and this is Hershey. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, so uh, to the people that do now have the Pixel 7 or uh, I guess S22 Ultra as well as what I have, uh, how are you liking your Pixel 7 so far? Well, so I personally like, and there's no fanboyism here. Um, I really like my, my Pixel 7 Pro that I have. And um, if there's anything that I could you know complain about and it's not a complaint <laughs> however i would say that you know so if you are coming from say the pixel 6 series for example uh it there's not much of a base um to it that you get on that uh pixel 6 series uh the, the speaker um, you mean uh, the sound of yes, the, okay. exactly. They haven't fine yes. tuned it. Remember, uh, they had this issue with a Pixel Four. Um, with I don't know which Android version. No, no, version no. It was wasn't Pixel data. Four. No, it was Pixel Five. They yeah, Gary, you mentioning Pixel, Pixel Eleven, which, yeah. Pixel Eleven which transition. From yeah, it was project. Pixel Five. But what I'm saying, um, but then in the same breath, uh, the speakers are better than the Pixel Six series in the sense that if I turn up this, the volume. Uh, it doesn't, you know, uh, distort or, or crackle like oh. it would on a mm. Pixel. So uh, this, uh, for that, I, I prefer this to uh, my Pixel uh, 6 because I could turn it up to even 100% uh, on well, my you, Pixel. You However, if I turn it up go. to over 60, uh, it's just no bueno. Remember, well, 100, like 100 it, episodes. It, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, <laughs> as basier as they go. The, the more easier to distort. Exactly. The you, are so, you are correct. You are correct. It's a sacrifice thing. Yes. And so I think Google noticed that and changed that, uh, turned down the bass a little bit. And so mm -hmm. you can turn up the volume higher and yeah. not have that distortion or that crackling. Which which manufacturer made the 7 or 7 Pro? Uh, fix, uh, Google. No, no, the manufacturer. Oh, oh, oh. Um, well, it's by Google. It's no, by no, Google. No, no, they used to went with. No, no, the, they don't do that Fox. anymore. Oh, that was Foxconn. Yeah, it was Foxconn the, yeah, well, back well, in the yeah, day. Well, no, no, it ha they had they has to do it through a company. Yeah, well, so. yeah, of course, it's it's Foxconn. Some of the parts Foxconn are coming in from Samsung, though. Foxconn was. Uh, yeah, they used to the, do it with Samsung or HTC or yeah, LG. yeah. No, they switched to Foxconn. I think. Was that uh, with the Pixel 5, Gary? I don't remember. But uh, From the first Pixel through the fourth Pixel, it was Foxconn. I don't know who has the, the current No, no, ones. no. It wasn't Foxconn. I mean, it was LG. Um, oh, oh the, you know, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. you're right. Yeah, no, HTC. The, 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 HTC. Just, yeah, there was, uh, you know, so Pixel 3, you got both um, LG and, and HTC. The same I thing bet, is true with I the Pixel 2. I bet you 2. the HTC um, and the LG were the best sounding pixels if there was the yeah, only one. you are correct. I, that's why I, have, I still have because those. It, it depends I still have on those. The no, yeah. but the Pixel 2s sound terrible when you compare no, it to. the 3, uh, which, the, which company the, three the 4XL. Uh, the, 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 HTC and LG. Samsung. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. It's LG and HTC that made the, uh, uh, pixels, uh, Pixel 2. Uh, so LG made the um, the Pixel 2 XL and HTC made the, the regular Pixel. And so it was horrible. Um, you know, the, the sounds were horrible, but the little guy was a little bit sounding better, you know, because HTC had that. It, it was sounding yeah. better than the XL. HTC because they had yeah. the boom sound. Yeah. Yeah, HTC used to used to have the contract with. Yeah, the but they already sold the boom sound back in 2014 to Apple. Yeah, you know, and then yeah. LG jumped on the on the high definition thing, and then they lost it all. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. LG was a good good company. It's just that unfortunately yeah. things uh, their didn't market work out. their marketing scheme and their software support is the is the, is horrible. That's it's why still they. The most, uh, it's still the. Uh, how to buy the pricing it. strategy as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go towards Asus, the the ROG phone, because they 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 do uh, high definition audio DAC and 3.5 jacks, even with their flagships, the latest ones, and they have like, it is a five, game. five and six, so five and six thousand. Uh, Which one is that? Million. One plus the last ones, the six and the the six and the five, both are just as uh, almost just as good. 
and they have like between eight so, and so, eighteen Sony do as well, Harak. You could, you could get yeah, an and as well as an so, Asus. Uh, rock Harith, phone. who are you talking about? What He's phone talking are you about talking Asus. about? Asus. Yes, the Asus, Asus uh, rock. Rock. Yeah, the Asus phone. Yeah, the rogue phone. That's the Asus Nine. I don't think the Asus Nine. No, 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 nine, not nine, no, no, not 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 the Zen Rogue phone. Phone, not the same phone, the rogue phone is yeah, the, the gaming, gaming one. one. It's a great Republic phone. Of Republic of Gaming. It, uh, you know, the it's one I Agus really want to the really no one I want to get iPhone. is the uh, the saga. I'm gonna get that and unbox it for our uh podcast. I, no, no, I, get, I, get, I, get I the recommend the Sony Rod. Got yeah, the why? rogue phone, rogue phone, and send it back after unboxing it and <laughs> checking <laughs> it because I got I got really I'm really sick, sick. I, 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 I uh, what I don't you know, call making it? a poll and here? Just to, just mm -hmm. to What's the next see, phone? To check its uh, <laughs> accessibility if it does have that horrible problem with the swiping only work because some phones does have that ugly bug. You can oh. only swipe with without uh, explore by touch. Some oh. phones does have that. I've problem. never seen that. No, no, I there, there are phones with that. No, no, there are some Huawei's I, and there are some Xiaomi's with that ugly problem. So oh, I want to see man. if the Asus well, you know, has that problem. Uh, if it doesn't have that man, problem, uh, that's my, my next target maybe next year or the year after. So you could do yeah, a review and, uh, of it if you decide to pick one up. You know? Yeah, Warren has the privilege to, ha <laughs> to, get, to, to get one. Well, and send well, it back and yeah, get his well, money back. I, I, I don't just, have that I just won that saga because you know what? It, it has an SD card and they go against the norm uh, because if they're a successor of the um, well, uh, the, the, the essential number. phone uh, and they are putting in SD, they're sticking it to Ruben and said, look, this is what you should have done. Uh, we told you so. <laughs> you didn't do it. What, uh, what yeah, they, it up? Warren, Warren, you're 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 a geek of GPS. The phone I'm talking about has packed with so many GPS chips you wouldn't believe. I think it's like seven or eight of them. Unbelievable. And it has the 3.5 high definition, 32 bit thing, and yes. it, it, it's 512 gigs of, uh, of storage. Mm. Ooh, and it has two USBs. It has two USB Cs, one what of is, them three point one, the other one two. This is a gamer. And it has, phone. Go ahead, and it has eighteen. It has I think eighteen or twenty gigs. Eight, eight, what does this thing cost? Like, like, Asus. I think it's like nine hundred dollars or something. And, okay. and, no, it's fourteen hundred dollars. Oh, fourteen hundred. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little well, bit south of Mexico. And, and it has yeah, a one hundred. Like, uh, look, it has a one hundred and fifty-six kilohertz for fresh rate. Uh -huh. Craziness. Well, it's what a gamer phone. It's it's like a crazy form. Yeah. Actually, but, uh, Wait, and you can probably find one in the second market. That's how yeah, you know. You find it on the bear for cheaper. Yeah, and it, and it has a big fat juicy battery. You can charge your stuff with it. It's it's a phone. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah that's, man, that's what I, I can one say. One more thing, like Asus, uh, when I used it, uh, I had a. No, I, I'll buy. I'll buy it at least two years old because because uh, my budget would never allow me to buy. Does anything. it have an SD card? I'm not sure. I don't think so. It doesn't need okay. SD card. It has so, two so, it it card. Card. <laughs> it, It's five twelve. Five twelve. Well, well the saga it has. It. Has, no, it. Like it. No, stop a making SD cards, but the saga has a card. The saga has five twelve, but it still has SD card. Yeah, LG has SD card, but they're dead. Sony, I remember the Sony Handycams there, Warren. Those things still work. Yeah, they still work. I, I actually it's talking tough. about Sony. I have uh, two uh, Sony Handycam, um, you know, cameras. Uh, you know, sitting there in my bedroom. You know, one uses a, a you know, like um, a regular uh, cassette. You know, and the other one, you know, it's a digital. Doesn't use a cassette. I I try to. I have a lot of stuff on that. I grabbed it. You know, when my kids were young, so we got lots of, uh, and I, I want to just uh, transfer those things to my computer, so I could just, uh, uh, you know, um, digitize that. I hooked it up to my Windows 10, and for some reason, it just didn't see it. You know, I don't Probably know. Probably drivers. Happened. Probably drivers. I have no clue, but uh, you need a you need some drivers for that. Maybe I'll take it to Windows Seven. I think I have a Windows Seven machine somewhere. Uh, I'll put it on that and see if I could get it. 
Yeah, I will have a. Uh, so I'm thinking it's probably drivers. <clears throat> yeah. And the battery is dead for some reason. So, um, because the battery is dead, it's not charging. And, and so when I plugged it into power, you know, it comes to life. But then when I try to hook it up, it's not coming on. But I'm thinking because it needs to be set up because uh, the batteries that you have to go to set it up, all the dead and stuff. So I think that's why it's not shaking hands. If I, if I, uh, you know, have my wife set it up or one of my kids set it up, I, I yeah, think it probably, probably will show up. Yeah, probably to, to, to let it give information to computer or something. Yeah. You know, just like, so I'll try that. Time, just like on the phones. Yeah. And some of batteries people. also good to recycle your batteries and your equipment if you're not using it. Headphones, phones, just you don't want them to explode in your house or you know catch on fire for no good reason. So, recycle. Yeah, but I I want to see what kind of battery you know if I could get the info on it. So see if I could find it on the bay for replacement. You would find it. Just put the model, uh, but you know the brand and yeah, model and you are right. Yeah, thing. that's correct. Yeah, yeah battery for yeah, because the, ba the battery was, it was not in the cameras. The, the cameras didn't have you know the batteries were sitting out. So my Nokia phone in. battery got pregnant on me a year back, and I find a battery on eBay, and they send me a good, a real good battery. That's a brand new bad, not original, but it's probably better than yeah. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah, like, but the thing, like, I was talking about, the Asus phones are very battery display. Like, the display touch is so responsive that, like, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, the Asus uh, phones, I've, I've never, I've never had one. <clears throat> uh, of course, we, you know, I, I don't know if we, we get those things here. I'm, I'm not sure. We don't. Um, I mean, I one we did not. I think their main market is the United States, or uh, uh, Warren. Or oh, is it, it, Yeah, you can find them on eBay or on 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 Amazon. On Amazon, it, yeah, but it, I mean, it's just sometimes you, you know, one is concerned about that. It, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a Taiwanese company. Taiwan company. The, yeah, the, Taiwanese. The, the main market for that, like just like MSI laptops, the main market for that is the United States and Canada. Yeah, I see. I don't I'm like. I, I don't like. Job. I don't like the Asus uh, laptops. Um, yeah, actually, I, I also. I, I just, I just don't. I mean, I, I had one, and I call Asus support. I was trying to, to get into the BIOS to, uh, you know, um, so I could enable the boot from the, um, you know, the flash, the, the flash disk or you know the, my USB thing. They wouldn't give it, it to me. It, for is, some it, is it is it that old? No, 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 no. It, if it's not that old, there is uh, other than BIOS option to get there. Uh, it's called boot option. Yeah. So, but but, but see, the, the guy wouldn't. I had to look up on on YouTube, and and <laughs> you know, and so after that, I'm like, you know what? Send forget send me the mo send me you the know, model. I'll I'll forget about it. just send me you know, the model. It's my wife's. I I don't. I think we. I think we probably threw that in because my little town comes around every. Uh, spring to pick up, you know, uh, electronics that we're not using. We, we threw that thing in that pile. If it was working, man, you can, you could have. It was know. from 2015, you know, so it's. Oh, uh, oh, that's you know. Yeah. A bit, uh, yeah. uh, let me tell you, let me tell you my experience with the Asus laptop. So, you know, that I have used many things from Asus, like a phone, a watch, as well as a laptop. So I had a Asus laptop and it was like my worst experience. Well, the laptop works, still, but I have changed the keyboard twice and still it has issues. Like I I don't use my keyboard so roughly. I don't beat my hands on it, but still the keys, the keys go to the vacation. <laughs> it doesn't work. What should I do to that? I talk to Asus support everywhere. No, no, I mean, they say, sir, change the keyboard. I've done it. What should I do next? Sir, please change the keyboard. I've done it again. They are telling just one thing. Sir, change the keyboard. 
<laughs> That's the thing. Like, well, I, I think uh, in the laptop department, probably HB and Dell. I think yeah. I either. Exactly. And I, have I have two Dells. HP and Lenovo. I have and two of those and eight or like tanks. Yeah, I that's love it. HP. Stuff. They never that's disappoint. No, see, yeah. I don't like HP. I mean, <laughs> hey, I, I have one, but I don't like them. No, I but like the I kind of like I kind of like Dell's better. Uh, yeah, I mean, ones are much better built. Yeah, and the gaming ones from HP are good. I have a a Pavilion gaming one. It's it's cool. I love it. I have a Dell G3 G1 gaming one from Dell. And and I, I went with the I went with the custom laptops from Clevo. I mm. I got I got lucky with one of them here because English keyboards are not popular here. That mm -hmm. laptop keyboard was in English, and the mm -hmm. person got it as a gift. Mm -hmm. It was like two thousand euros worth of laptop, and I got mm -hmm. it for less less than a thousand, like seven hundred. Mm -hmm. It has a sixty four gigs of RAM, mm -hmm. one one terabyte of latest Samsung SSD. It's like mm -hmm. a rocket rocket mm -hmm. speed. That's awesome. I seven eleventh gen and everything, and I got it only for seven hundred euros. <gasps> it was the best deal of my wow. life. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I, can, I can have you hearing the specs for it right now on my mixer. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, and, and it works better than any other Dell or HP or Lenovo I've ever How about it's a custom laptop? We are talking about company laptops. Yeah. Well, well, it's, it's, <laughs> not that, it's not that expensive. You can buy a laptop for... Uh, like a thousand euros or thousand dollars from them, and that same hey spec, the same for the same specs, uh, you'd have to pay at least fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred for companies like Dell or HP. Yeah, I mean, I paid like seventeen hundred for mine, so it's yeah. crazy. They're very the, expensive. Really... You want the nice ones, you mm -hmm. can even spend over two thousand dollars. Exactly. Um, you, can, uh, but... you know, yeah, the business uh, grade ones. Especially I have here, like, all the two thousand dollars. Um, you know, series. They're very oh, good man. laptops, but they can be a little bit pricey. Too expensive, like. Yeah. yeah, I, I uh, agree with uh, Gary there. It's 1800 to 2000 is a median to even get into a business laptop to be half decent with like an i7, uh, ample amount of RAM, at least 16 to 20, you know, 32 at this point. Yeah. Uh, one question I had, Warren, though, to take it back into a little bit of Android land. I saw Google Spatial Audio uh, thrown out there. Have you looked into what all that is and what it really means? And even with YouTube, I know that there's a lot of integrations and on Samsung specifically when I upgraded to 13 uh, 13 came out this month uh, a couple of days ago basically is when I updated it but before mm -hmm. that point in the beta cycle uh, I have a setting uh, similar to saying audio or hearing mm -hmm. but it has audio uh, uh, audio description as a toggle within the accessibility main setting. So swipe down notifications, go to settings, go down to accessibility, and then you have those uh, subgroups. So first group could be screen reader, second group could be this thing I'm talking about, third group is baby visual. So uh, that uh, have you messed with anything that has spatial audio or anything fancy? Because one thing I find frustrating is we're splitting up companies again. Google is doing their spatial audio thing. We don't know what Samsung is really doing. No one's really being out there and being, you know, open about what's happening. And uh, spatial audio and having audio description and all of that together would be really, really cool. So on the Pixel 7, I'm holding it here in my hand, you know, uh, we do have spatial audio. Spatial audio on wired headphones. So if you tap here, it's found in, you know, you go to system settings and you go to sound and in sound, uh, you have the spatial audio. Spatial audio. Navigate up. Right and out if of list. I put my finger down here. Wired headphones. Switch on in list. And you can also turn on spatial audio for Bluetooth devices. Yeah. So connected devices settings. And you have all, all of that on there. So uh, if you have a headset that supports it, yes, you can take advantage of that. Uh, but if you don't have a headset that um, has that um, support, then uh, it's going to mean little as well. I appreciate that answer. Uh, I guess I should uh, wake my Yamaha up over here to uh, the Yamaha MG to next use. So I'm glad to see the Z06 over there and... Uh, we were Yamaha's up in the up in the stream in here, so 
cool. Yeah. I think I think the the Galaxy Buds Live Pro actually supports special uh, spatial I'm, I'm, audio. I'm using the AG for my laptop, the Yamaha AG06. That's a good one, and yeah. it works with that oh, spatial thing, oh, Windows spatial. Ring, yeah. but ring or silence. It doesn't make mm. big difference. Mm. Yeah, I, I think Windows 11 also has that spatial audio. It does. It does. Yeah, it does. But, but it doesn't make a big difference because if you have a good tool to like good speakers with with you know Dolby stuff and a, a mm. program supports Dolby, I mean, Windows has nothing to do with it. Mm. Microsoft are very poor with Bluetooth and sound stuff. Yeah, they're, mm. very, poor. Yeah, they're poor. Yeah, it's very, yeah, they suck. Good. It's not good. <laughs> if, yeah. you, if, you, yeah, if you want good Bluetooth audio with Windows, you'd have to buy one of them or the Bluetooth transmitters that act as a sound card and transmit Bluetooth uh, yeah. sound on their own. Uh, well, what, I, what I do with nice. mine is I just plug them into like you know USB um, you know speakers. That way, at least you know you have a, yeah. a codec yeah. that's working much better than you know. Yeah, the uh -huh. yeah. 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 Hey, where, yeah, that's basically the best. Hey, where can I found the special audio in my Windows 11? It's in the sound it's settings. The sound you settings, just yeah. Type yeah. In, in the run box, type mmsys.cpl, hit enter, and then control tab to get that uh, special sound uh, tab. It's M hey, 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 what was it? M M S Y S dot C P L like multimedia system short term for multimedia system M M S Y S uh, can you speak it again M M yeah S Y S O S Y S yeah dot C P L as a control panel C P L yeah C P L that's it. That's that works with Windows. Tool you should that, ever have that works Windows. with Windows seven, eight, nine, not nine, yeah. seven, eight, um, <laughs> eleven yeah. as well. Yeah, it works with all of them. That's the fastest way to get to your mixer. So the mixer yeah. that you see in the bottom right hand corner, or if you'd go to it by your screen reader, yeah. Um, yeah. that's what typically shows up. So that same command, but it makes it easier because it's older version uh, yeah, of the, the command for just the mixer to change the volume that's a different thing you can type uh, sndvol like sound volume uh, S -N -D -V -O -L. S -N -D -V -O -L. Yeah. and hit enter you'd get that uh, mixer sorry about that warren we, we dragged the thing to. oh no no speaker. no well this was just a part you know we're learning something yep. here um so it's we well, don't have yeah. an agenda I'm, I'm, uh, you I'm, know the, the subject I'm, matter the, the, Look, I'm the fool of them. Just tell me which command you want, and uh, you'd be hooked up real quick. <laughs> there you go, hey, Warren, man. I'll take uh, I'll take you down the memory lane of that setting I spoke about, so it's speech assistant. So if you just give me one quick second, I'll take you there. Okay, yeah, show us that. But could you slow down that German? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> Speed rate 279, speed rate 254, speed rate 239, speed rate 191, speed rate 173, speed rate 193, speed rate 193, bring it down, bring baby down, bring baby down, speed rate 118, no, that's maybe one more, open settings, out of list, settings, button, search settings, no, that sounds like my Alison, or is it Eva? What can sound no, that's display, Ava. Home screen, layout, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. wallpapers. Yeah, see, I kind of prefer Alice. Save accounts and backup, manage account, Google, Google, advanced, digital, well, battery, and device apps, default, general management, show act software update, user, soft accessibility, talk back, accessibility, button, navigate up. Recommended for you, using four foot talk back, two of 11. Spoken assistance. Oh man, he is using four functions. Spoken hey, assistance. Let, let's button, hear what up, Out of list. So this is the new thing. It's called Spoken Assistant. It's a menu. So I will swipe through. Spoken and this is on Samsung, right? Right. Okay. On 13. Okay. okay. Audio description. If available, automatically select the audio soundtrack with an audio description while watching videos. Switch on one of four. In list. Four items. Bixby Vision for accessibility. Two of four. That's voice neat. label, write voice recordings to NFC tags to provide you with information when you're nearby. The tags are purchased separately and can be associated with objects or locations you use regularly. Three of four, showing showing item two of four. Voice label, write vo button, navigate up, out of list. So that was that, but that's the new entry that I spoke about, which was the... Audio description, if available, automatically select the audio soundtrack with... 
that. But that's a little way to get to there. Uh, if Warren knows that uh, I do, I bug Android Insights. So, um, that's yeah, uh, like a, which, which, uh, um, Ava, you which guys get right. You... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is it, oh, S22, uh, S yeah. Yeah, S22 Ultra. Because I got the S21 Ultra and I don't know. Uh, when well, you'll get it, you'll get it in a month. You'll get Android in 13 month. in a month. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get it this month. You'll get it in this yeah, month. This month, sometime. Actually, actually it's already month, started yeah, rolling yeah. out to some. It depends on your region. And it's some regions. Yeah. yeah, I think then. Yeah. So, so most 13, like probably end I, of I year, did the beta I mean, on 13. So that's why I, when when it came around to my phone, it it offered it that way through the uh, the members app on Samsung. So that's a place to look at no matter what country you're in. Exactly. Uh, the Samsung members app will let you know if you're you're available oh, and yeah, enrolled. The members yeah. app. Correct. That's how yeah I got into the beta, and then I was like, uh, should I try it? Okay, fine, right. let's do it. Yes. Oh, you yeah, know me. I'm a king of betas. Don't I actually... don't. I don't. I'm never yeah, afraid yeah. of joining any betas. You know. <laughs> So many people actually don't care about the members app, even though it's very important. Like it has. It is also... important. Yes. It has diagnostics. The, it, the and kidneys memory. of Samsung. So that's the kidneys right there. Mm -hmm. um, the heart and the brain sometimes they don't communicate to each other because that makes sense. <laughs> you know, with, with a lot of accessibility decisions, Samsung does a lot of great stuff. I think in the low vision space, they do amazing job there compared to uh, Pixel does. But then Pixel is so quick and s sleek on the Samsung or the Pixel side with like the Pixel Seven. So you know, we always have to have a, a trade off in communication or a conversation where we let both com companies know, hey, stop messing about with this eloquence and all of that we don't need that we need something stable something that's going to work for us and it's going to be solid and reliable that we get our job done Harsh. right it's it, it we were arguing over eloquence as voices but the point is we want to hear the voice and it needs to be understood doesn't make a difference right. what it is of a namesake but at the end of the day i want to say happy birthday again 100 episodes because it is important that we give good information to people and not Hey, well, you know, it used to be good in 2013 or 2012. And I, I started off with S2. Uh, I had S5. I had a Note 5. And S5, Note 5 both took a drowning swim. So then I had S8 uh, just for a short while, S8 Plus or whatever it was. And I wanted my pen back. And I wanted my Note feeling because the Note 5 changed my life with the pen and just being able to do more work with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I moved on to getting the... Uh, the note nine which is i would say the all-time best phone that samsung's ever made mm -hmm. uh because I, yeah the note seven could have been but the battery miss you know the scruffle <laughs> that happened that <laughs> well, it, well it happened because it, it, but it happened on design it into at and right because <laughs> right, it, it, it was designed it wasn't their fault right it was and it's like the supply chain stuff we blame all of these companies of well, foxconn and this but we we're not there as people making these devices or being developers so all I could say is, you know, uh, uh, g.co slash disability support. I always give feedback there because half of these features that have annoyed me have gotten fixed. And mm -hmm. that's just from my own uh, testimonial to that, that it's worked like the color inversion thing. It was so annoying to have a floating button to do color inversion. I looked at my update. I was like, yeah. oh, it works. Wow, okay, I could do this back. Um, it's fixed. So it was my feedback sister, yeah. Yeah. through going to gco.slash. Yeah, I, I had a whole conversation with the people there, you know, with my thermostat or this, that, the other. It could be other devices. And I think that if we don't keep rivaling the devices, the devices will go away and accessibility will go away. That's if correct. we rival the devices to say, hey, we need a better device for tablets and we need to make sure that if you got Fuchsia coming up in the stream and that's not, we need to make sure the accessibility is there for the infrastructure, the fastness, the quickness, that the sleekness. Um, the rest of it, will, will, it is like a baby. It is going to grow up. Right now, Talkback is basically a teenager. Sometimes it has hissy fits. Windows or uh, Android 11 was a man. We talked about a lot of Windows, so I'm going Windows now. But Android 11 uh -huh, uh -huh. was a hissy fit kind of conversation, right? Because Android 11, there were a few hissy fits. Right. And there's a whole substantial change. So Android 10, I have on my uh, what I have Voice Assistant, one of the best screen readers, typically for Android 10, uh -huh. because Talkback yep. is still not that capable and i get done so much stuff done on my note 9 and it's like my s22 is just like huh exactly yes what do you want to do 
Sea so, horseshoe. Uh, so you know, talking about that, um, yeah. I just want to show the other side here. You know, the feature that you just showed earlier on the Samsung phone. So I'm in my accessibility um, on my phone. And so under the heading that says audio heading under the audio heading, we've got audio description. Here a description of what's happening on screen in supported movies and shows. Switch on. Sound amplifier. Use headphones to improve audio. Sound notifications. Get notified about important sounds. Hearing aids. No hearing aids connected. Yeah, so... Audio adjustment. Showing general heading. So... Uh, Accessibility shortcuts. You know, those are some of the... General um, heading. Audio heading. Let me see. Captions. Heading. And then you have the captions. They have, they have, you know, labeled it up in headings captions. like that, and it says heading. heading. So that's a good yeah. thing. It doesn't say button or something Live strange. Caption. Automatically caption media. No. That's just the way that the UI is done. Text. Yeah, they, they fixed Showing it, in other words. It, and, and, and I really and like this one. Automatically cap live transcribe. Convert so Samsung's text. UI is basically you know, based on our, buttons, whereas you know, the you Google's know, um, UI is based on headings. People. Yeah. Caption preferences. Off. Show you know. audio. Heading. Yeah, so I, I kind of like that. Um, I like the way Google organizes them, you know, under these different headings. And, 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 so and you kind of look It's interesting audience. you say organizational that way. I think they all do the right thing in their yeah. own perspective because a lot of accessibility features on Samsung are grouped, right? So vision yes. stuff is grouped under vision stuff. Uh, exactly. Uh, the hearing is grouped. So once mm -hmm. you get into it, there's a whole slew of other options. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on, and then what, what I would also like to hear from you perhaps, Gary, is you're a OnePlus guy usually as I, yeah. I recall. So I still don't know much about OnePlus. I still would buy a Sony phone just because Sony cameras are amazing. Uh, Motorola are great options for cheaper phones, of course. Uh, they're still solid because they still come with a general uh, um, version of Android. So you're going to get your talkback version and all of that. Um, other phones that I could think One of. OnePlus, you know, Oxygen OS, um, once they group things, the color OS has, has decreased, but they're supposed okay, so to it's have gone it down the hill. With, it's going right. to improve with 13, but I don't have it yet on my my other OnePlus that I have. So I'm waiting. It's Understood. it's in the beta beta channel. I didn't want to enter into that because the way OnePlus does it, it's a pain in the neck. If you enter, then you have to revert with the back with our previous right. um, zip file, which is a pain in the neck. I would say if so, you want to circle back to us with that information, because that's the only phone sure. I'm still in the dark with with OnePlus. No, 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 I will. I will. Like I'm India, wait, I'm a lot waiting, of people in India I'm use OnePlus as their be, Samsung phones. As we I'm waiting for them to be in the open beta because right now it's in a closed beta. The gotcha. closed beta is a pain in the ass. So, but yeah. uh, uh, yeah, if yeah. it's in the open beta, I don't have a problem. I'll I'll do it. Definitely. Speaking of so we, and features, we do want to close. On. Hang on, guys. Hey guys. We do want to close. I mean, uh, uh, because I want to be able to stop the recording so that we can still chat. You know, because um, it's still recording. It's going to be so. It'll take a long time for, long. It, for it to come <laughs> down. Hour tour. Yeah, it's almost noon. before you close. Just for the history, put this because this is a long gone thing and it would never go back. And I wish I'd see those on other phones so we can purchase them for for the high quality audio lovers. Listen mm. to this. Migration type standard. Migration path. Migration trend. Some quality and the path. The path to the next one path. Listen to that feature. That's I a, want that's this. That's an ESP. Yeah, right? but uh, no, I, I want the feature. It's Listen the to the feature. It's not just the tag. Listen to all of them. I'm going to listen to it. See how many features it has. Yeah. No other phone has those, unfortunately, for the last two years. I, we need to see more of that because that's important. Uh, oh. yeah. um, well, this is, this is LG. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, one, one, of the, one of my OnePlus has had that. I just don't remember which one. It you has have the Dolby and all the other stuff yeah. there. If you have like a thousand audio track with different garbled volume and everything, listen to this other feature. Volume. Normalize volume. Automatically adjust media to play at the same volume. Yeah, it's yeah. Automatic well, it, you know, Harriet, there's no yeah, question. Uh, LG it. had the best uh, DAC on, on their phones. Can't. Uh, you know, no one touches them. Anybody want to go oh. source some quad decks? Anybody? <laughs> quad deck. Yeah. Quad so, but deck. like I said, we want to thank everyone for listening to us and thank you all of you guys. I know a lot of people have left, um, didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. 
but we want to say goodbye uh, to you guys that are listening that didn't have the opportunity to join us on this wonderful occasion. Yes. Uh, from me, it's goodbye. Happy 100. From me, Thank you. It's goodbye and happy birthday, Blind Android. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, everyone. Goodbye from a firework-filled London. Oh. Thanks for saying. Cheers and see you on the one hand. Now, Carrie, you have been here all this time. You didn't talk, my dear. Huh? Oh. Carrie? <laughs> There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording.